Lesson 1 The Pandavas Last Year in Exile Good morning dear children. Today I, Mrs. Shivani Chaturvedi, is going to explain you the first half of the first lesson of your English reader. The Pandavas Last Year in Exile Children, did you recognize the music playing? Well, I'm sure you must have because these days the epic serial Mahabharat is being aired and I'm sure you all are watching it too as you will get to know a lot about the Indian mythology. This is a story about the struggle for supremacy or control over Hastinapur between the two set of cousins, the Kauravas and the Pandavas. The story begins with the Pandavas having lost everything to their cousin Prince Duryodhana in the game of dice. The game of dice was a game of chance played with dice and was known as Chaucer in the olden times. According to the rule of the game, the loser had to spend 13 years in exile. Exile means out of one's native country. The 13th year had to be spent in disguise means they had to change their appearance and live in a way that they should not be recognized by any of Duryodhana's men or as a punishment they will have to repeat the 13th year of exile all over again. To spend their 13th and the most important year, the Pandavas chose the kingdom of King Virat who was a very very powerful king. They changed their names and took up different jobs in the service of King Virat to spend their 13th year of exile or Agyat Vas as it was called. Yudhishthir, who was the eldest of the Pandav brothers, was a very well versed in the rules of the court. So he took up the job of the king's chief advisor and he assumed the name of Kang. Bhim who was the strongest of them, assumed the name of Ballab and took up the job of the chief cook as he was very very fond of eating and cooking as well. Arjuna was very well versed in the art of dance and music. So he assumed the name of Brihandala and started teaching dance and music to King Virat's daughter, Princess Uttara. Nakul, the fourth brother of the Pandavas, assumed the name of Granthik and started the job of training the horses of the king. Last but not the least, Sehadev, the fifth brother of the Pandavas, took up the name of Tantipal and started looking after the cattle of the king. Draupadi, the beautiful wife of the Pandavas, became the chief maid servant of Queen Sudeshana, the wife of King Virat, and she came to be known as Sairandri. This is how, without the knowledge of the people, the Pandavas started living in the service of King Virat with a hope that Duryodhana would not be able to find them. This is the end 
of the first part of the chapter. We will continue in the next one. Thank you.